are you? Insomniac. 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 <laughs> I never should have cared for you. I never should have trusted you. I wish all the lies were true. What the hell did I ever do? I just want to scream. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Scars and Whiskey for our next review. Today's review is the Romacraft Neanderthal. Now, this is a f brand new cigar. just came out this year, and I know it's hard to find. Some of the places that carry it is just flying off the shelf. It is a 5x56 uh, ring gauge, and it is about $12. Now, I picked this stick up at Baxter's. Uh, for those who don't aren't familiar with Baxter's, I do have a review of that shop here in Phoenix, so you can always check that out. As you can see, that the cap of the cigar is quite flat. It almost reminds you of the CAO flathead lines that they have, because that's how they did, that's how they've done their caps. The wrapper of the Neanderthal is a Mexican San Andreas. Uh, the binder is a U.S. Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. And the filler is actually a Pennsylvania Double Ligero, Nicaraguan, and Dominican. On the wrapper, you can see it's uh, very minimal veins, very tight seams. It's almost like a dark coffee. And the one thing that's kind of interesting, if you haven't noticed yet, it starts at a 52 and it tapers down to like maybe a 56, 58. So an interesting way to uh, construct the cigar. It is quite firm, uh, but it's not too loose and it looks like it's fairly well packed. On the pre-draw, we're getting a lot of taste of coffee and a little bit of spice, uh, but mainly coffee and uh, light cedar. Stay tuned for the first third. Into the first third of our Neanderthal, we're getting a lot of dark coffee, earth, and red pepper, and more of the red pepper on the back of the palate, and then also we notice a lot more red pepper on the retro hill. Uh, but so far it's a pretty uh, full flavored cigar, so if you're not a full flavor fan, you might want to be careful with this one. But as you can see, construction holds up, the ash is holding fairly well, it is burning a little uneven, but not too bad. So we'll be right back with our second third. Welcome back, everybody, for our second third of our review of the Neanderthal by Romacraft. Into the second third, uh, the chocolate is still predominant, uh, and the red pepper is starting to come a little more uh, towards the front of the palate, making it real, like a little bit of a spice. It's almost like a spicy uh, chocolate uh, sauce or a hot cho cocoa or something like that. And then we are noticing... Uh, there's a lot of red pepper still in the tongue, so it is kind of a more spicy cigar, but I do like it, and as you can see, the ash holds up pretty well. The construction is just phenomenal. Uh, it, doesn't, it isn't burning as razor sharp as you like, but it's still a really good cigar. So we'll be right back for our final third. In the final third of the Neanderthal, uh, we're getting the, the notes of coffee are coming back with the chocolate and the spice, and they're staying pretty well um, even across the board. The burn is slightly uneven, but the construction of the cigar, again, I think is very well. Uh, no problems with anything falling apart. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Always leave your comments. Thanks again for tuning in to Scars of Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke. We'll see you next time.